Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge the Gadigal peoples of the Eora Nation as the traditional custodians of the land on which we record this podcast, and pay my respects to the elders both past and present. Hi everyone, I'm Tiny Cook and welcome to my podcast, Chuffed. Some of you may know me as the girl who got married to a stranger on TV, which thankfully worked out, and now I'm here chatting with you all on my podcast. And you're probably wondering what this podcast is about. Chuffed is your unfiltered safe space for all things love, career and life. Join me each week as we unpack relationships and dating, a dash of pop culture and have fun conversations with cool people. In this episode, we chat with my on-screen husband and off-screen boyfriend, Ollie Skelton. We talk about all things maths from how we found out we were going on the show, our experience during it and answering some questions from you guys. So let's get into it. Welcome to the very first episode of the Chuffed Podcast. I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous too. So I'm very glad to be joined by none other than my TV husband and real life boyfriend, Ollie Skelton. What up? What up? (laughs) Yeah, Ollie's joining me today. I couldn't think of anyone better to have for my first episode. And we're just going to kind of chat through, I guess, getting married to a stranger, which is what we did, how that was. Mm how the wedding was I feel like we always get a lot of questions about it and yeah life we have some really good Q&A questions from Mm. the audience Mm. so I'm keen to answer those okay obviously going into maths what did you first think about okay obviously you didn't apply should we tell them I applied for maths yeah Ollie got approached what was your first kind of I'm gonna I'm gonna do it I'm gonna go on it I'm gonna do it what made you kind of Think, okay, yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna go on. I'm just gonna go on maths. Because the thing is, is with Ollie, we'll go into it. But Ollie wasn't sure for a little while, mm. and mm. I was waiting around yeah. to, for my match. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's so true, actually. Yeah, so um, I was, I was approached probably like three months before they told me, mm-hmm. um, or maybe two months. Yeah. One thing that I always used to say, because I'd never watch maths, but mm. I, I, I knew what. People said about it. Yeah. I knew the the general gist of what people said, like the entry, top of the iceberg stuff. Yeah. I was always like, I will never do maths. Mm. I will never do maths. And then they told me to apply for this process. And I remember thinking in my life, and I've said this before, that I'm very, I'm very bored right now. I I just felt like everything was Mm tickety-boo. And then so was going along for the process, never thought that I was going to get it. And then they told me I actually got it. Because you know that thing when you're trying to not when you don't you don't really care about whether you do or you don't Mm -hmm. that's when it works out perfectly yeah totally so then they call me and they say you got it and i i remember i was on my couch it was like 5 30 p.m and they go ollie we just want to let you know that you've got you're going on maps and i went whoa so wow that's crazy and thinking in my head then it became then it became Serious. real and it was like you know that moment like freaking that's so raven where she's like <laughs> having I, a vision yeah i like had my vision of my <laughs> life and what it was going to be and i was like oh shit oh shit oh shit i was pushing against it a couple times now, i don't know if you want me to read i could read the the email where i said no so this is 25th of July last year. Okay, crazy. Wow. It's almost a year together. Yeah, but not only that. Crazy. I, I had turned it down it's two, like two three weeks, weeks before. Yeah. Less than three weeks yeah. before. Hi, team. This is a really hard decision for me to make. It's been such a long process that, to be honest, I didn't think I would even be chosen for. <laughs> However, after the finality that this is actually going ahead, I've realized I just can't do this. One. When I told my current employer that I had to leave for three months, they told me I would have to resign and my job would be filled. This wasn't something that I predicted. I obviously did predict that. (laughs) I'm going to skip two. Number two was like, I don't want my... It's a very much a relationship show and I didn't want like the... Previous partner. I thought that they brought up your previous partner. Yeah, I did too. I was apprehensive about that. I didn't didn't want that. So that's what I was saying in that. Number three, I just don't think I'm ready to be married. Ha ha. I know officially that's not going to happen, but Australia does ha ha Because I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, I know officially that's not going to happen, but Australia doesn't know that. True. I've been asked throughout this process by your team why, 
And I honestly have no idea why. I can't even think of a decent lie as to why. <laughs> Lol. This is the most Ollie email I've ever heard. <laughs> and then I say, I really have to, I really need to apologize to you and your team. The time you have put into me and the opportunity you've provided me with, I'm very appreciative of. And it was decision thought over a lot, capital letters, and not made in haste. It's the non professional email. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, thank you for so much for the opportunity, and I really am sorry, but I can't be a participant. Best. The best. Are you a best guy? I'm a kindest. Ah. <laughs> Tiny X. So going back to the maths email, yeah. what then transpired after that for you to then be on the show and to marry me? I took a I took a day off work, and I'm thinking in my head, and some everything was telling me no. Mm. But something in my gut, and I don't, I feel like it's not that I don't listen to my gut, but it's like, I'm not sure how I'm interpreting my gut. Mm. You know, I'm like, like, what is it really trying to tell you? you is know? my gut telling me this or is my gut, like, what is my, am I overthinking what yeah. my gut's telling me? But I was in a really zenned out place where I was very in tune with my gut. Um, and I remember the morning of, my sales, ma- my sales boss had said to me, old geezer, he's like 60, he loves maths. He goes, now, Ollie, uh, I'll tell you one thing. Everything that's gotten me to where I am in my life now, it's been through me gut. Go with your gut, lad. And also, we'd be happy to give you a 10 grand pay for us. <gasps> and I'm like, no, what are you doing to me, mate? So you're trying to get yeah. me to stay, Damn. but then you're like, go with your gut. Yeah. Because obviously I'm the one, I've got to tell him first before anyone. Sure. Yeah, yeah. He's my boss. Yeah. Really. And I was like, no, I've listened to you. I'm going with my gut. And then, yeah. You said yes. And then after that, full steam ahead. Yeah. When I found out it was at Splendor in the Grass. So this is our equivalent to Coachella in Australia. So I was getting ready. It was like the night before the festival. Mm. And then I get a phone call. And I think this was like after you had like spoke to the producers and you would like finally agreed to mm. doing it. You like weren't backing down because I think they'll still, because when they spoke to me, they were still a bit like, it's not confirmed. Like he might say no. <laughs> so they called me and they're like, we found you a match. It's not hundred percent. Like things might not work out, but yeah, we found, found your match. I really didn't want to quit my job to go on the show. I was very wanting that support from my job and very thankfully to have got that and going on leave rather than leaving. I couldn't really describe how I was feeling about it. I was very just like in a weird zen but stressed out kind of state of mind. And yeah, I just remember it being crazy and those two weeks like flew by so so quickly because yeah we had to do all the backstory stuff yeah we were doing the hens but it was just a lot they put me in a hotel for nine days before the bucks because they didn't want me to leave yeah and they put me in this fucking mickey mouse hotel <laughs> and i ate a steak every night yeah. i racked up a 680 dollar bill for nine days i don't think you got the financial facilities for not that. anymore <laughs> but back in the day i was living it up now I'm in this fucking... And I reckon they brought you so much earlier because they're like, we got to keep him in Sydney, trap him in Sydney. He's not saying no. Yeah. And you're they, like, you're a liability. They put me in a very <laughs> nice, nice hotel. Yeah, because other people are going back and forth yeah. from they film a bit of the backstory yeah, Sydney, and then they yeah, can yeah. go back to the... Not me, dude. No. I was stuck in that fucking yeah. thing for nine days. And I didn't really think I could leave. No. But I did. And it was crazy to think that you were out and about in Sydney and I could have run into you. Ollie was out partying at Ravisi. I went to Ravazoli's and they, that's a good place. Great place. Yeah, cra- crazy having, just remembering that moment, agreeing to it and then all the emotions that came with processing being on the show, then going on the show. Like I was mm. in this weird, yeah, it's fun, it's fun, it's fun. It really obviously hit me literally on the wedding morning that, oh, okay, this is like a lot. I have friends, family mm. here, um, this random mm. guy, like what the hell? And yeah, I have a funny story from the wedding day, the wedding morning. So I, it was very stressful for me. I think you know this, but I, so I was like, yep, yeah, I had a little bit of sleep. I was like doing mm. my face masks. I was like, I have a shower. I was like, let me just like relax. Cause mm-hmm. it was stressful. I was by myself and it was really like, 
it was weird. Like I didn't have my family there. I was like staying. I had one of my girlfriends, Darian, come have dinner with me the night before. But then I stayed there by myself. And it was also a creepy as shit apartment. Mm. Like the door was like full glass, like a frosted glass. That was anyway. Oh, was, yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, I really didn't like it by, being by myself. And also, so you know how I have my weird paranormal shit yeah so i remember like waking up so i slept there was two rooms there was like a twin like a two single beds and the main room so i slept in the one with the two single beds because i didn't want to mess up the room for like filming and not because you wanted your husband to share that bed together for the uh, first yeah time. whatever and i remember sleeping there and i'd look and i i was it was like i hate sleeping in a new place and it's not like it's a hotel it felt very unsafe like this airbnb in rose bay and I remember waking up in the night and I heard, so it was one of those doors that you'd, it, you'd have the numbers, right? You'd like, like a code to get in. It wasn't like right, an right, unlocked right. door. I remember waking up in the night and I heard the fucking code, like unlocking the door. And I was like, someone's fucking trying to break in. Right. Then I was on edge and I couldn't really sleep because I thought I was going to die. <laughs> the dramatic to me. Anyway, so I wake up in the morning, I'm like getting ready and I went to have a shower and it was like a new build Airbnb, I think. Get out of the shower. I'm having a really nice shower. It's like one of those bathtub showers, which I really hate. Mm. I hate the like combo of a bath shower. I really think you have a bath, you have a shower, two separate things. I oh, don't, true. I don't agree with combining them. But then anyway. I also like sitting in the bath, uh, sitting in true. the bath. True, that true, on true, true. Like, uh. No, I think if it's like a bath purpose, but you're not standing up. So I do agree with that if it's just for the bath, but I wouldn't want to have a shower in the bath. Side tangent. No, let's really delve into that. So <laughs> there. So I was having my shower, all good. I get out of the shower and the whole fucking apartment is flooded. <laughs> there is water all the way in the lounge room. And I was like, what the fuck? Water everywhere. Like it was like a decent amount of water. I had to get all the towels, like everything, just like put it all on the floor. I've got a photo that I'll share with you guys. The whole apartment was just covered. And I was like texting my producer, Jack, our producer, Jack, being like, the apartment's flooded. It was flooded. pretty much your producer. He it gave was me just, no time at all. Yeah, he loved me. And it was just stressful. I was like, great. We're off to a great start. Mm. I couldn't tell. I was like, this day is just going to be a nightmare. Mm. I just, it was the worst. So, And I tell you, one thing that I thought out of all the chaos is your hair looked amazing. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. I swear to God. I feel like the most hate I got during maths was how bad my hair was at well, the Well, count day. your bloody lucky stars, Which, mate. honestly, thank you. I love you all. Thank you. But, yeah, it wasn't cute and it looked a lot worse. That, anyway, it was just not cute and I would never have my hair like that usually. So, please don't judge me based on my wedding hair. So, this is a story I haven't told Ollie before. Whoa. Which is... Yes. Um, which is a juicy one. Don't know how you feel about it. So I actually knew Ollie's name the morning of the wedding. Oh. And I'll tell you how. So <laughs> it's so funny. And I don't know why I kept this from you. I just felt like I think part of me didn't want to tell you because I didn't want to get in trouble by the producers for – I wasn't snooping, but it was just there. I So we had a runner come and drop off snacks and food to the apartment. Yeah. So I was like helping her bring them inside, bring them in. I had them all on the kitchen counter. Then she left and then I had the snacks. So I'm like getting the snacks out of the bag. Mm. And then there was a booklet, mm. which was like a full <laughs> schedule of the wedding day. Mm. And you know, I like opened it up and then I read it and I was like... You opened I it opened up? I opened it because I was like, what is this? Sorry, and it this just is, said... And this it just, is tiny, man. Like I did not it, her honestly. property opening it up. It was the snacks. I was like, what is this? Open it up. And it says Tani and Ollie. Then I shut it. I literally was like, his name is Ollie. I was freaking out. I was like, Tonya, Ashley, his name is Ollie. We found the name. Why would they put it in the snacks? I'm like out here trying to eat my snacks. And then the folder's yeah. there. They run a pretty tight ship. <laughs> that was a big, big... Ooh. If the ship's Titanic, there's gonna be fucking leaks. Yeah, and know? then I remember like I'd like left it. I left it in the same spot, and then I came back. Like when they came in, it was gone. Like, okay, I know his name's Ollie. Mm. I was like, I've got something. Surely it's hard. Like when you don't know anything, right? Like that feeling of just like having no idea about what that person looks like, who they are, and like. Did you Google Ollie Maths? No, I didn't. There wasn't anything out at that I time. I know, but yeah. I, you still could have done it. No, I didn't. Um, because the shitty thing, I guess, for our season is all the brides were leaked literally the day after the hens party. So all the grooms kind of saw all them and could kind of guess like which mm. one they would get. Like it was very, I felt that was a bit shitty of an experience to have. It was very stressful because a lot of the, I guess the media element, I didn't expect so early on. We didn't, I felt like we didn't really have time to like get our socials in order and kind of do everything before we were like exposed in the world. Yeah. Um, which was just hectic. But yeah, what a what a day that was. I feel I 
I loved the wedding vibes. I didn't actually choose any of the um, decor or anything. I kind of, which weirdly, I said I kind of liked a simple classic wedding because I don't know. I, I wasn't thinking anytime soon of planning a wedding, so I didn't really know what to to say when they asked me about it. Right. Um, and I love, like, I feel like Jack, our producer, really got – Um, my personality and really weave that into the set and everything was so colorful and so bright and so fun in this like sick warehouse like it's not really a wedding vibe and I don't know if we would have that for an actual wedding but it was cool like I thought it was cool I could appreciate it as like a nice event yeah I don't Um, think anybody would have that as an actual wedding but they're like we done how many weddings we done now? We've done about fucking 90 weddings. We got a... Is that how much they would have done? Probably. Yeah. We've done 90 weddings. The most unique, I would say, for sure. How can we... What do we... Somebody want to spray paint a wall over there and just have Throw like a, a dumpster fire neons. over there and they'll Love walk it. down and... It might say ho or hope. We're not 100% sure, but we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. And I loved um, my flowers. That was a very controversial thing. I feel like people... Controversial? Really, people really hated flowers. them. Flowers? Yeah. I mean, it's as controversial as I got on maths, babe. Come on. True. Flowers and hair. F- first episode of us in it, nothing else for the rest of the season. What do you mean? Oh, no other controversy. Well, yeah, well, you get abused early on because they don't know you. <laughs> so they're judged. just like, you, it's very easy to judge a person yeah. just based on aesthetic. And that's arguably the worst way to get judged. Yeah, totally. Um, but, you know, we're a slow burn. Yeah. We knew that. That wedding night, I've told this everywhere, but that wedding night, the, f- the fucking video of me walking into the limo oh, was released. Yeah. You were the first groom to yeah. be leaked. Yeah. And, and, was, they, and they were not very nice in the comments, were they? I didn't I didn't read them. I read them. <laughs> really? Yeah, no, I didn't read <laughs> yeah. them. No. no, they were fine. It's just a typical piss take of maths people. Like, it's kind of what you, yeah. you're you used to. Yeah. It, I think I did read them one time. I couldn't fucking sleep that yeah. night, bro. <gasps> Can we tell the story of... How that moment at the house. Mm. So we're having a cute little pash in the bed. Mm. And already I was on edge the night before feeling like the place was going to get broken into. Um, in bed. And then we hear like this doom, 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 doom on the back of the like window at the front of the bedroom. And we're like, it's the paps. <laughs> yeah. It's the paps. Because when we were going to the freaking back to the room, the pat was like, this aggressive dude. It was dude, so aggressive, yeah. Uh, it's fucking rogue as fuck at the start. I was like covered. There's like a photo. I had like a, near a trash can. Mm, I had like, like trying to go up your dress or something. Yeah, like. it was pretty. Yeah, it was just weird. Yeah, it's 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 and at the start because the, at the start there's all extra. So you got like your core paparazzis who's just like you know them by name and they're chill and they're cool and you're friendly, and then you've got. When big shit is happening, mm-hmm. they hang out. There's a couple on the outside. And then you got yeah. when bigger shit is happening and it's you don't more. know these people and they kind of mm. just look like. It's, in, it's intimidating for sure. And they're just like. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. And it's so aggressive, man. It's yeah. so aggressive. Um, For a second, you're like, is this going to be my life? And yeah. then you realize it's not. And you just get used to it. No, but I yeah, couldn't was- sleep. I banging showing, on the um, yeah. banging on the window, and then it was <laughs> it was the audio guy had left some equipment, and he came into the. Yeah, house. He didn't like, know your name. I don't. He was think, like, Ollie. He was like Ollie. Ollie. I was like, yeah. <laughs> what? Why are you just talking to me? <laughs> I left my I left I the know. sound thing. Bless him. All right, so Ollie actually journaled a lot during maths, which I wish I did. I think I was just so overwhelmed and stressed. I just. Yeah, I just didn't. Um, Tani doesn't journal, doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't journal. I really do want to get into it. But anyway, add that to my to-do list. And she doesn't even go to the gym and she eats not <laughs> Why are great. you being so mean? No, it's just, <laughs> honestly, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. All right. Well, Look how know. beautiful and skinny she is. You would think she's running or doing something. It's just the Asian genetics, thankfully. Um, you should see our bloody pantry, by the way. It's like snacks, Willy Wonka. Snacks, Willy snacks, Wonka snacks. in the Chocolate Factory. Literally, though. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. What would you like this evening? Say you're very sweet or awesome. All right. What have you got? What t- right. Talk us through this one. All right. Do you want one where I'm mad at you? No, I want one that you, like your first impressions. <laughs> I, it's, I don't, I didn't journal. I, I've got. Look. The first, what's the first one? Okay. I think I've read this to you. Okay. But, okay. Let's, re- let's hear the first one. All right. The very first journal entry of Ollie's maths. Kicking off this journal, writing about my maths experience. Being pretty relentless to begin with. Paparazzi, 
Oh, my stomach. <laughs> Did you hear that? I heard that. Oh, shit. <laughs> he knows, bro. That's my gut telling me don't do this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> when you bring it back. Um, <laughs> paparazzi, shitty articles. It's just weird. Is this who I am? Maybe I am just a media desperate fucker. But that doesn't feel like me. I was kind of poached for this thing, but articles are making me out to be bloodthirsty for fame. I'm just me. That's all I'm going to be. Now, I need to preface this, that this was after the honeymoon and Tani and I had to be separated mm-hmm. for five days whilst everybody filmed our weddings and they didn't have the cameraman to yeah. film our growth. So you had that yeah, break in between. Film the other weddings. I think I feel a type of way about Tani, hey, which is mad. It's very hard for me to fall for people. It could be the circumstance. I don't know. There's something about her. I'm just going to take it day by day though. No expectations. I just need to continue to be me. Gratitude. Grateful for my dad, my relationships. Must stay true to them. Goals for today. Do a good deed. Do legs. (laughs) (laughs) Clean house and do a load. Isn't that weird? That's so crazy. Mm. I love that. Mm. Yeah, just I think those initial first impressions of each other and feeling very unsure with how the other person was feeling and what, um, yeah, what the what the vibes were. It was hard, especially having spent we spent all that time together. Then we spent equally that time apart mm. when we were waiting to film the first dinner party and move into Sky Suites. So it was that was I found that very bizarre, and then we couldn't really communicate, which was just a bit crap as well. But yeah, I, d- I didn't like that. And then I was staying. I was actually staying in North Sydney where the previous math seasons were filmed. Mm. So I was in the Meriton where they did all the like Cyrell, um, Jules, Cam. Their season was so it was really weird. I was like, oh my god, this is where they filmed um, that season of maths. And I didn't really, as well, I didn't really leave. Like, I kind of was just chilling mm. in there and, like, yeah, it was, it was very bizarre. But I always think back to, like, those first couple of weeks in the experiment and how it was just so crazy. And then just figuring out how I was feeling about everything because everything was happening so fast. You just don't really have time to be like, oh, how do I really feel about this? Like, mm. it was just a lot. I don't mm. know if you the same way. Yeah, I just, I mean, honestly, you're just a very hard person to figure out where, like, to break down the walls. Mm. Like I it, would agree. <laughs> it's, it's, so I always found, I was like, yeah, she's saying everything that I think that I want to hear. Mm. But I was like, I don't. How she really I, Well, I just, I, I don't know where she's at. I'm sure that it's like there's a reason for that yeah Yeah. all right let's do a question so this was sent in by nadia hi my name is nadia my question for you and ollie today is what did you guys think about maths in general before even going on the show if you watched it shout out to nadia love you nadia i feel like because you you didn't you didn't really watch it we actually watched um last seasons of maths during filming at sky suites yeah um, cause Ollie hadn't seen it before. Yeah. I watched season nine and I watched season six, but I didn't really watch that in the year it aired. I watched it like a couple years later. So you saw a lot of it on that. I think that's been the most viral. Like that is the most, they set, they set maths up for what maths is today. Yeah. And seeing the clips on YouTube, yeah. seeing the little like snippets on socials. That is how I watched it. I was like, Hey, I need to watch this. Like yeah. this is just so good. And I thought it was really entertaining i love the drama of it but i loved seeing the love stories as well so (laughs) um yeah it was it was a lot and i think tv like that season you'll never get tv like that ever again right i think people are now going into these experiences not being as unhinged yeah well i just think i think i think they need to get a whole bunch of people that never watch the show yeah because then you create a different show yeah Jess Powers from Midland though as well. So shout out, shout out to the 6056. Cute. Man. But yeah, you didn't really have much thoughts about maths before, did you? I remember my ex-girlfriend's mum watching it mm-hmm. one time and me going, why are you watching that shit? That's what I said. <laughs> I wonder if she watched. I think season. about this all the time. I think. Oh, ab- I don't know how I feel about that. I reckon she would have watched it on her iPad for sure. Oh, like where nobody her. else was watching. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I do think that. <laughs> All right, she's got a little voice memo as well. Oh, she kept going. I would also like to say I'm really excited for the podcast because I love Ollie's podcast and I'm 
100% sure I'm going to love yours the same, if not even more. Well, that's not a question, <laughs> but we like that. If not even more, did you get that? <laughs> if, oh, okay, that's true. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, thanks, Nadia. Love the question. Love the video submission, guys. So send them in via DMs. We love it. This next question is from Paz. What up, Paz? Hi, Tani and Ali. So I have a question for you. In maths and seeing all these couples separate, did it like put some fear in you that the same thing will happen to you or did you always have faith in each other? Great question. Great question. Oh, I feel I was very seeing when a lot of couples were kind of going through it. It did stress me out a bit because I was like, oh, what? Like what's going on? Like is that normal? Because I guess we – I felt like at times – Is she, no, she talking about after or is she talking about during? Well, I think – because obviously some uh, broke up during, right? Uh. I think seeing – yeah, seeing – a couple, like a few couples crumble and stuff. It was very much like, oh, okay. Like, wow, that's, that's, that's hectic. Mm. And then I think at times I felt though we were going too good and that um, we weren't bringing that element of chaos or drama or conflict or any of that to our relationship, the show. Because everyone would always make little comments like, well, you guys are fine, you guys are fine. And they would really push down any of our problems that we did have, which we did have. Right. I mean, I felt like we were always like, oh, yeah, but you guys are fine, you guys are fine, you have no issues, you have no issues, you're fine. And it was very like, oh, okay. Our, maybe our, our issues weren't as major as others or... Um, yeah, I just it was a weird it was just a weird dynamic to feel cuz you're comparing your relationships to other people and then you're analyzing these relationships and then you're kind of applying some of that stuff to your own at at times as well. Yeah. Yeah, you I know? think um I never I like I I never gave a I I knew we would be I knew we would make it to the end. Even when we had that massive kickoff. Mm. And during the the after the wife swap the couple swap whatever <laughs> the um, notorious couple swap they like, pulled it whatever, whatever to it fucking was. they knew we all know what it was <laughs> you can fucking polish a turd but it's still a turd at the end of the day yeah i just knew that we were going to be chill and i didn't give a shit about making drama i mean, are you saying that you were like oh i gotta make no, some drama no 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 uh, it was just like we just were not doing that so it was just a bit like oh okay i know that you hate that we had those dumb little scenes no, I, I like those scenes. No, when I do. You, when you do I found them deep. just bizarre that um, they would put them in. But I guess um, looking at it now as the show's finished and it all together, it makes sense to me. Mm. I think um, as people would say, we're boring. Is that's That's been... We, okay, maybe the first two weeks, but... Like a bit snooze. Okay, fine. We had those cute moments and I think they were trying to make us seem not boring by including them in. Overall, we didn't really want to buy into other drama of other couples because we were, to be honest, I, I felt like I was focused on our relationship and making it work and I didn't really, not that I didn't care about other people's relationship problems, I just felt like I didn't want to be consumed by those issues and get in a weird headspace that I would then bring that into our relationship because, yeah, you don't realise sometimes like, oh, if there's this attitude towards someone's husband or whatever it is it can trickle into other aspects of your personal relationship or or whatever right yeah. and i just didn't want to get in a headspace then i feel like uh, it's hard because i think i didn't really have that closeness with the girls or a particular girl or that thing than you did with like rupert for example yeah because i yeah i didn't but there I was have the same experience as majority of the women on the show right but there was you know? a time there when you were getting really close with the girls and this is like a week before the intruders. Yep. And I wasn't getting close with any of the dudes. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. And I remember being like, what's going on here? I just remember feeling like fucking helpless. Mm. Then I was just like, well, and yeah, I felt, look, I felt very anxious about the whole thing. I am just a weirdo dude from Perth, which is a weird city in itself. <laughs> it is a weird city. So, we love Perth, though. and you know, the the show was filled with a bunch of superstars, and still makes me uncomfortable to this day. Obviously, mm. that's why I don't like going to the events. Yeah, and I think a lot of it because obviously, I think through what I do for work, I've had to go to a lot of events mm. and do all that. And it's I do have social anxiety at but times, chuka. but I push myself through that 
in these social settings, but it's very draining and it's really mm. exhausting. And but Chuka, I reckon you love it. It's no, you, but it's you thrive in that. I do, but sometimes I don't, and I have to push myself to go and put myself mm. out there and enjoy it. I don't always love because you have to be on all the time. You have to be pleasant. You have to be, you know, mm. you can't rub someone the wrong way because people are just going to talk shit about you. You have to be very. Yeah, just very why? on. Okay, but why do you have to be pleasant and be nice? Cause well, I, I don't want people to um, think I'm a type person that I'm not because mm. I think but someone's that's, exchange that's... with someone, someone's exchange can be different mm. what they take out of it versus what you take out of mm. it. So I'm just more mindful of it. But I'm saying this. Um, you don't want somebody to think you're someone that you're not. If you are being high energy when you're not feeling high energy but are I'm you high not energy then most of the time yeah except but sometimes when you're not in the mood you're not feeling it. it's not always it's not no. always easy to show up to those things and to be you know sociable and do all that mm. i enjoy it i'd say most of the time but sometimes it's, it's harder than others all right so i'm going to do some questions that mm. we had sent in yeah um i just want to preface i feel like i always get this question in my dms anytime there's a q a and it's are you guys still together? Mm. And if we had a dollar for every time, I swear to God, we'd be rich. Mm. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the question as we're doing no, the fucking podcast. I just wanted to just, All right. can we yeah, please stop way. sending those questions in? Michelle Stone asks, are you two going to marry in real life and have babies? I mean, hopefully. Right? Yes. <laughs> and we're going to have... Well, um, apparently we're already pregnant, according to some media sources. True, very true. But not true. That is fake news. Mm. No, I think there was another question as well about if we do, do you want kids, which I think we both we both do. We've had this chat mm. about what what we want. I think it's just it's just crazy to think about being a parent. Mm. I just I always I always when I think too much about it, I get a lot of anxiety and I have to stop thinking about it because it stresses me out. But can I tell you something that I thought last night? Yeah. So I don't know why. But before I went to bed, I imagined I had a little um, baby girl that I was cuddling. Aww, mm. how cute! Yeah, I think I'm getting held plucky. I really want, I really want a girl and a boy. Mm. I'd really love both because mm. I want to be a cute, fun mum, but also you're going to be a cute. The fun world mom. is a scary place, and it's just not safe. And you're going to be a cute, fun mum to the mums. Like they're going to be like that because you're going to be prepped. You're going to be ready. <laughs> You're going to be at making the oranges and stuff. <laughs> but the, the kid oranges. is going to be like, you're going to be like, <laughs> and then the kids are going to come to me for the, for, because she's getting <laughs> baked. You're not allowed. And I'll be like, you know what your mother's like? Um, literally. That is what's going to be like. Ask your father. Ask your mother. Yeah, I think it's, I've always wanted to be a young-ish mum, but I'm mindful like, it's hard. It's hard in this economy. It's very expensive to have children. It's a scary world for them mm. to enter into. But yeah, I think our generation is having more conversations about uh, parenting and what it is to actually um, have kids now. And I don't know. I think we think more about the stress of it, the career. Like I think, for, I don't know, maybe it's more women, but um, the career aspect of it, like the things you have to sacrifice. Like I think yeah. we're more hyper aware of it maybe than what was before. Yeah. I don't know. That's just how yeah, that's, how I, I'm I interpreting it. Um, and there's like studies that like uh, people in our generation are having less kids because they are more conscious of what it is to have kids. And mm. I think as well, like I would really want to be able to spend a lot of time with my child and parent right and mm. do all that. And that takes, you know, time, resource, all of those yeah, things. Yeah, I hate, I hate rich people that get a nanny. Yeah. I'm not about the nanny. Mm. Like it's kind of like elitism in childhood. It's hard. Like I would really not trust strangers with my child no, i don't but know also like from the kids perspective <laughs> it's, it's gonna weird, yeah. it's gonna make them have a they are going to be vying for your approval mm. even more because you only make special guest appearances you're only a supporting act <laughs> yeah it's a it's call me wrong. crazy but i say this and i'll probably have a fucking nanny but it's going to be a reduced <laughs> yeah i think i'm just like Mum, mum can look after. The yeah, <laughs> mums can look after the children. I've got a fun one. Let's do this one. Right. It's a bit not a, a non maths related question. All right. Okay, Courtney Tets Tets. Oh my god, I'm so bad. So Courtney Courtney Tets. Fave one D members rank best to worst. Well, oh, great question. All right. Mm, what are we doing it based on? Just, Just my favorite overall yeah. vibe. Yeah. 
yeah. Everything, talent, mm-hmm. vibe. Um, Harry, Zane. I know yeah. that's controversial. I always thought he was cool. Liam. No. Liam. This is, no. Okay, okay. No. It's, your, it's your list. It's yeah. not my list. Louis, no. I always thought Niall the was a little... The disrespect to Niall. I always Niall. thought Niall was just a little... No, 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 no. Dude, how he... He was... Don't no. be mean to I'm Niall. I'm sorry, but if you look at how... He always seemed like out. The, I know what you're trying to say. The one... The the bad... That's so incorrect. Anyway, we're moving on. Sorry. He didn't even That's, have... He Don't he, with the... Cause, okay, did, my, can I say my list? He did not have good vocals. He has great vocals. Have you heard his solo stuff? Okay. That's now. My list, my list is Harry, Niall, Zane, Louis, Liam. Uh, uh, great. Now we've got another fight. <laughs> Thanks, Tattletales or whatever your name is. Courtney. <laughs> I just can't believe you put Niall at the end. Bro, I... Niall is great. Niall, he's like my, he's my second favourite. I love him. Love Niall, a little Irish moment. Okay. What did he even... Give me one song he sung in the first Up All Night. <laughs> he sung on all the songs, babe. Come yeah, on, Yeah, okay. Man. What soul? Give me a solo. He's like, he plays guitar. <laughs> or them all, they all can't play I guitar. can play guitar, mate. No, you cannot. Yes, I can. Yet to see this, guys. Your Yet to see this. Is bright as ever. Annabelle McPhee asks, what is the weirdest behind the scenes moment on maths? I think the okay my oh, one gotta keep is coming up with new ones. I think the weirdest thing is pre dinner party, pre, um, yeah, pre dinner party, pre commitment ceremony, sitting in the tents mm. at um, at the like where you film the dinner parties, <laughs> and you are all brought there, and you're waiting in separate tents in your couples or separately if you're not on good terms that day, um, and you got to wait there for hours. And you've got like a box of activities. So you have a tennis ball, you've yeah. got snacks, you've got yeah. chips, puzzles. And there'll be this tennis ball and Ollie would be just be like bouncing, 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 bouncing. I would be like sleeping on the floor sometimes, having mm. a nap, having a snooze. You couldn't have your phone. Mm. So literally couldn't have anything. You could read a book. Um, and it was just so painful. Yeah, so sucked. painful. So And you'd never, that's why, okay, if, if people ask what's something you didn't know signing up to maths, that would be one. Yeah. You're waiting around. Um, it's a lot. I've got a yeah, weird it's one. it's a lot. I've got a weird one. <laughs> okay. What's, what have you got? I've got two weird ones. Okay. No, I'll just go this one. Every time you watch us on the show, we've got a sweaty strap around our guts <laughs> that they take <laughs> off. And when you take it off. Your mic. I assume, yeah, that's, sorry. It's, it's attached to your mic. But you take it off and I assume it's what it feels like taking off a bra. Yeah, the relief. It it's a be. sweaty thing that's on you the whole time, a strap. Yeah, it's pretty icky. It's disgusting. So Sarah asks, do you guys keep in contact with your maths peeps and who are your maths besties? Ollie is my maths bestie. What up? Um, yeah, I keep up with all of them, man. I call every single one of them every day on their birthday. No. Okay, here's my ranking list. No, we're not doing the ranking. You're going to do the ranking? Nah, Frozen. come on. No, it's like... Okay. Dude, it's like high school, right? Yeah. So it's just like high school. Like, you can be friendly with some. Mm. You don't always keep in contact you with also, others. You also got to remember, nobody went on, nobody that that's on this show is completely normal. <laughs> so <us>. you've <laughs> got your, you got 24 people that are a little bit... And... <laughs> What's gonna happen after? <laughs> Shit's gonna kick off, mate. Yeah, it's it, it. There's a lot of like drama. I don't know. It's just it's just a bit chaotic. And like Ollie said, it's very. I like to describe it as high school. I probably speak to three people from high school, like regularly, mm. if not at all. Um, and yeah, I feel like out of the odds kind of lines up so i keep in contact with some of the girls obviously we like touch base with each other every now and again but yeah i think you when you're you, it's hard because you're thrown in with a bunch of people you usually wouldn't have in your social <laughs> normal setting so um yeah you're not always going to get along and it's you're going to no. clash at times so i think it's i think the hardest thing about it is we all have such big personalities each and every one and i think you can really butt heads and you can really clash. The thing that you figure out in this in this thing is like, man, people are very peculiar. Yes. And I think I'm just 
sticking with Ollie, sticking in my own lane, right. doing my own thing um, like I did on the show and will continue to do. I will say this. I will say this. People just, uh, t- I tell you what shits me. I tell you what, okay, I tell you, um, you know, I'm a Scorpio. Yeah, he's a Scorpio, mm. guys. Scorpio and Taurus, real compatibility. Yeah. So but we get that question a lot as well. Scorpio, Taurus. What a Scorpio hates is inauthenticity. Yes. Is two baseness. Yes. And that is something that I have learned in this space. I um, agree. That is incredible. And I mean, granted, who am I to say that? I, mm. I haven't at times done that myself. Um, but it's something that... It's on another level, I would say. Yeah, and it's just like... like yeah, so that's to me that's a bit icky. That has mm. been the ickiest thing mm. about this process. Yeah, yeah, I you, agree. Like, ugh, it's hard, and I think you're you come out of this, and it's quite competitive to make something of it, I guess. And I find, but um, is it like do well, your own thing? Well, that's what I mean. Thing. Like, do your own thing. I think there's enough room for us all to do whatever the fuck we want to do. I'm of the belief I don't want to step on people to get to where I want to be. Also, don't want to dull anyone else's light. So. I think I've just learned to just focus on myself, not get mixed up in other bullshit and just, yeah, do my thing because I've got you and that's all I need. What up? But (laughs) what up? Yeah, it's like everybody can have a piece of the pie, mate. Yeah. Everybody can uplift each other. Like, ugh, it's gross, mate. It's gross. So we're going to do a segment called Chuffed or Not Chuffed. Um, Ollie actually came up with this name, so... Thanks, Ollie. And essentially, it's just a topic, a whatever it is, and we will dissect if we're chuffed or we're not chuffed. Wow. Chuffed or not chuffed. This is from Emma Nader. Um, she's what up, Nadia? <laughs> flowers for men. How do you feel about that? What do you mean? I've more. Well, if I was to buy you flowers, I've never. No. You don't I'd, like it? No. Like what would you? Okay. What do men want to receive as a gift? Because flowers are such a nice. A, a beautiful like it's just a nice simple thing what is something for men i feel like you don't like candy you don't like chocolates i can't do that what is something of of the same equivalent for men okay so i've thought about it what I would you like you're gonna say then. something like no no no. i genuinely thought okay. about it. I, I thought what would make me very happy if you came home with this yeah if you came home with a six pack of br okay that would be really nice all right okay and maybe some flowers too. What, what's your favorite flower? The lilac. I'm not really awkward. Sure. I'm not awkward, but I think <laughs> if I had to choose, <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> That's where they make oranges, bro. Orchid. Yes. Do you know what orchid is? That's where they you make oranges. Really? Come on, Are guy. You making that up? On my life. Oh, I'm looking I'm looking into that after this. This girl. Jeez. Orchid's not a plant, bro, is it? Yes, it is. It's where you make... Or- that, no, maybe maybe that's an all shoot. No, <laughs> no, I'm telling you. Oh my God. Okay, moving on. Annabelle asks, <laughs> chuffed or not chuffed? Taylor Swift. I feel like I feel bad for you because, you know, I'm definitely chuffed about Taylor Swift and she's been on repeat in our household for the last... Okay, she was also on repeat during filming. I would play All Too Well 10-minute version all the time in the shower. I don't know how many times Ollie would tell me off for that. Love it. Amazing song. Love Taylor Swift. Which what, what, can you, I, Je- I know you don't want to um, sing. Casually cruel in the name of being honest. So casually cruel in the seem to be kind. That's what I thought it was. Really? Something like that. Okay. Oh, there you go with your bit black hair and you don't do it, okay. but you wish you could, yeah. Maybe you should release a new version of it with your lyrics. Ollie, I, this is an annoying thing. This is one thing that annoys about Ollie. He's, he always sings songs but never gets the lyrics right and that was an example of it. What up? Gun to your head, could not get the lyrics right. Even though you heard it for six months straight on repeat, still couldn't get it right. Muffled. Um, so I'm going to say chuffed about Taylor Swift. On behalf of me? On behalf of me. Uh, on behalf of you. Uh, yeah, do look, you like, do you not like? I know I like. I used to play Band Hero and Love Story was on Band Hero and I loved it. All right. I've got one more chuffed or not chuffed. Yeah. Friends with benefits. 
Why are we asking me that? Well, it's a chuffed or not chuffed. Is it you're about or not about it? I'm going to say not chuffed. Why are we talking about that? Because have you never had friends with benefits before? Um, yeah, no, it's a bad not thing. Chuffed. Don't exactly. do it. Exactly. I feel like it always ends up with one person liking the other person more. And it's hard because I would say maybe a couple of years ago, I would have been chuffed about this, but I've changed my opinion and I'm really, it just doesn't really work out Bro, I'm just from my experience, evidently. Mine too. <laughs> so... Um, I'm just so interested in you in the dating world. What even was I'm that? I'm not. What um, even was that? Yeah, it was just a, a hard time. Hence why going on maths. I don't know. It was not. It was, look, I obviously it's hard because I feel like when you're in the dating space, you tend to focus more on the negatives rather than the positives. I have had some positive dating experiences, obviously. I think just the ones that were bad just trump how mm. the good ones were. And I'm a hyper fixating queen, so I like to... Mm. It's so interesting to me because like to, I now know how much you are just like ping ponging in that brain of yours. Mm. And I would just think about everything I would have said on like, the show and how you would have been analyzing like, yeah, it. Yeah, 100%. All right. I think that's all we've got for today. I loved having you on, Ollie. How did you find it? I actually really liked it. So obviously, Ollie has the Tosser podcast. I've also featured on it. What episode was I on? Number two. Episode two. It's a great podcast. He's doing very, very good. Very proud of him. Thank you. I'm very thankful that he's come on mine as well. So thanks so much for listening, guys. And I will speak to you next week. Bye.